Hello, Debbie here from Easy Piano Styles. I thought I would do a, a basic lesson on chords today and chord shapes. So if you are looking to play any major chord, there's two really important formulas that you need to know that I love. And I tell everybody in my classes about these formulas. The formula for all major chords is 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 means that you pick any note on the piano, black or white, we'll pick a D, and if we count up four half steps from there, one, two, three, four, we get the third of the chord. And then the three means if you start on that note and you go up three half steps, one, two, three, you get the fifth note of the chord. So you combine all three of those and you get that major chord. That's a D major chord because the bottom note is the D. So any major chords. So let's start on a different note. Let's start on B flat. We'll count up four half steps. One, two, three, four. That gives us our third, the D. And now we're going to count up three half steps. One, two, three. And there we have flat major chord. So you can construct any major chord. If it doesn't sound happy, pretty, very harmonic, then it then you've counted incorrectly. Um, if there's if there's a sadness about it at all, if there's an edginess to it, any kind of dissonance, it's not a major chord. So shut your eyes for a minute, listen to this. Is that a major chord? No because there's some distance. It, it's pretty, it's, it's interesting, but it's not a major chord. And that was because the white key in the middle was the wrong white key. It chose a C rather than a D. So that. The other thing about major chords is if they're in root position, meaning the name of the chord is on the bottom, they're going to be evenly spaced. So for example, an A looks like that, it has a triangle to it, but say I was to choose this note here. Not only does it sound very dissonant, but it's also very unevenly spaced. There's a big space here and then a tiny space here, so that should tell you visually that that's not going to sound like a major chord. Okay, so those are the two most important formulas, the 4 plus 3, oh I didn't get to the 3 plus 4. The 3 plus 4 formula is the formula for all minor chords, so if we want to build a minor chord, say from the C, we would go 3 plus 4, which is 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. So then we have C minor. So you can use the minor formula to create any minor chord on the piano. Or if you really know your major chords and you wanted to start with that, you can play the major and then just move your middle finger down. That's the only difference between a major and a minor chord. And of course that dramatically changes the sound of the chord. The sound of a minor chord, of course, is kind of sad. And there's no getting around it. Minor chords, major chords. Those are major. Major's happy, minor's sad. Um, okay, four plus three, three plus four. We'll, we'll get you to play a lot of songs in easy fake books if you just remember those two simple formulas.